Hello folks and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Last time, reading Sky of All Emissions, and we're going to do the last two here. The Verge of Omniscience and Rending the Veil. Given the the amount of things here and the reward, I think for some reason this one is technically supposed to be before this one. Maybe the ultimate prize in some of the Nebris is the Library of Malob. Yep, yep, yep. Whereas this one seems to be like a different thread entirely. This seems to be like the the the, the thread that's about... Um, the flayed ones. I might do this one first. We'll, we'll just rush away. We'll do that one first, and we'll do the other one. because They feel like they should be that way around. Um, you. You, 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 you. Screw you. You. No, screw you. You. Done. Megas, I cannot help but to notice your indulging of Tech Acquisitor Skyavola. I urge you the strongest caution. Skyavola is a tech priest of Stygis Eight, notorious nest of tech heretics. Recall the words of the Amaranthine admonitions. If it resembles a heretic, if it speaks like a heretic, if it be redolent like to the nose as if like a heretic, then a heretic it will be. And not ones I make lightly, but I pray you, Magos, do not trust Skyavola. Calamathorians 97.414. He who aids the blasphemer, even through ignorance, has the blood of the faithful upon his hands. I think things are definitely going to be coming to a head between... between, um, Skyavola and Videx. At least there is no soldier of flayed ones for your cohort to engage, Magos. My Skatari have fainted off so many attacks from these creatures, they are in danger of losing what little control of the tomb we have. Consequence stream follows. Combat engagement, observation and teleportation process, tech and insights, improved combat effectiveness, ultimate victory. As long as that involves clinging onto the Skyavola, I'm on board for this one. Can you put a mission solution that leads to the highest concentration of flavors? That should not be a problem, Megos. Just follow the screaming. Just follow the screaming. Um. Again, we can ignore it. Uh, one, two, three, four, done. Again, if I can avoid that one, I will. Kill as many of these flavors as possible and just leave. That is a good plan. Again, there's going to be a, there's definitely going to be a cahead between the Videx and Skyavola. Anyway, what do we have here? Kill all enemies. What do we have here? We have a bunch. Wow, you're first. Okay, uh, who's the first? Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so first things first. We put a we, we, okay. Uh, day sleeper, go over here. Uh, actually, first things first is you need to grab... You need, you need to be able to walk to there. What is that? Is that... Is this thing is... The angle's weird. Um, you need to be able to walk... If you can get that far, that would be fantastic. It might not be the case that you can get that far. Because you definitely need to get... There, and then, and then Boscro... This side. And then Morthen... Here... This is going to be an annoyance, isn't it? Because if this if this level of in initiative remains the same the entire time, it's going to be one hell of a pain. Can you get that far? No, you can't, unfortunately. As far forward as you can, please. 
Actually, no, it's a lie. Do this. Because if I get, if I, I can get, I can get over here. If I get over here, a we can destroy that. But b, I can do this, which is important. I can do that, which gives us more cognition, which lets me do think what I wanted to do, which is basically, of course, summon the big daddy here. Because for something here, you probably get all the damage there. Uh, do that. Thank you. You go after... Fine. I'm going to have to kill this flayed one, unfortunately. There's no... Wow, there's literally no angle where I can hit you. Um, that You're going to get hit, unfortunately. Well, anyway, so we'll do this for you. Can I tell you to command fire that one? I'll take a step forward. Uh, over there. Over there. Please attack you. Good. That means you go immediately afterwards. At which point I'm going to just quickly just shove you away one. I'm going to get hurt by this, but hey. How's this an attack? I power you up, then move the hell away. Good. And then use your last point to give damage to all troops for their attack. Done. Thank you. Right, first things first for you. Flem and Verf in a circle. Then you move over flame just out of range for that. Look at that. Yeah. Flame here. Kills both of them. Oh, you legend. You utter, utter legend. I love this. And walk over here and slam this down. Mainly for the cognition. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Are you legends or anything? Armor up. Thank you. Okay, Bosk. Um, over here, please. I want you to shoot that if it's all possible. Go over here. Um... If I do this, can I get a flamethrower? I suppose yes, I can. Kills you as well, beautiful. Perfect, thank you. Uh, move up to here. I'm gonna grab this. At which point we move over here. We shoot this there now. Four to six, please. Four. <laughs> of course. Uh, move back over here and just hit this thing with your... Six to eight damage, come on. He's dead to the... To, he's pretty much dead to the... He's not guaranteed dead to the thing. But he is now. Right, Morthen. Move up to here, please. Grab the overcharge cognition. And do Curatio Claw on you. You can't walk over there, can you? Oh, because you're in the way. Fine, in which case go over there and just tap that. Misplay. Slightly annoying misplay, but misplay nonetheless. Right. You please walk over here. Walk this way. Might as well pick that up while we're going. Okay, so. Pollution Freedom. You 
down. Technically, all that's really left is Beric. Beric's gonna move up here. We're gonna make sure that we end this on 10 co cognition points as well. We're gonna go over here. You're gonna do Banaric Harvest to get us full minus two. Which means you can do this to get the plus two cognition to finish us up. Which means you end the turn and the opportunity attack finishes you off. Beautiful. Ten damage there. Empyrean readings processing. Further illumination confirmed. Hypothesis confirmation process. Further observation of sub-resonances of Widdishan's phase waves required. Search the site for the firefight for the components that may have evaded teleportation. Cleanse the corruption of this place with incense and prayer. Check the surrounding chambers for more flayed ones in lying in wait. Uh, yeah. The course of suspicious nature is proven justified as the sounds of the flayed ones scuttling away echo from surrounding passageways. This lesson in cunning of the flayed ones is well learned. Okay. Uh, next fight. Right. Again, kill everyone. Cryptech, Necromortal, Necromortal. Okay, again, this is going to be a very annoying... No, it's, it's mitigated now, the fact that we have... Um... <sighs> oh, wow. It is kill all enemies, but this is the map that generates a bunch of extra... Generates a bunch of extra. Okay. Yeah, we are going to do this, I think, but still. Uh, who's the first one? It's you. Okay. Because I think if we kill, if we start destroying these, we're going to start summoning extra flayed ones. So I will destroy them, but not willy nilly. Boscaro goes over here. Morthen over here. Derek over here. Derek over here. Basically, we're moving forward as well. You're going to get healed, so. Derek all done. Face sleeper. There's too many things. To, there's too many things here. I can't. Yeah, I can't just not attack here. There's too many things I need to attack. I can probably get a. If I get a good line here, I can probably hit all three of them with like Beric and, and Star Jackal. Although there's, they're all going to take the turns between then. So if I can avoid the, letting it go that far, that would be ideal. Um, right. Can we just start hitting here? You're going to get hurt several times, so might as well just start laying into you as much as possible. No, no idea how much HP you've got. What are you, by the way? You are an immortal, thought so. Right. Okay. Here we move up to here. You've got the you've got cognition freedom, right? You do. Good. Shoot this guy here. Yep, so... Now move around. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Move here. Summon Castellan. Castellan robot. Here, please. And... Buff you. Canister as well. And also going to give you the uh, command spell. Um, can I shoot you? I can shoot you. Movement reduced. Can I get close enough to do the... Uh... There you go, close enough to do that. You're taking a lot of damage, haven't you? You have. Heal up that. 
And don't bother with the off because Bosco can heal you up. But right now. And get. Is, it, is there. Is, there's no. There's actually a pixel where I can't get both of them. Well, uh, hit those ones then. Killed, killed loads of them. Now, have you summoned a bunch of extra? You haven't. Okay, good. I'm not going to bother killing that one then. Um, that, that hits you. Oh, there you go. That works. Out. That works out the same way. Hits you with a burn. Burns that one as well. Let's go. Right. Ask. Walk over here. Four left. Four left means I can shoot you. Um, grab that, by the way. Grab that. Heal you for one. That's what. That's long range for three. This is just saves points. Go over there. Walk over, like here. Shoot you with that guaranteed kill. Good. Um, I don't think the arc is anywhere big enough for this, but we're going to give it a shot. I don't believe the arc is going to be big enough for this. Sadly, not. Sadly, that is not the case. Anyway, do that. Can you make sure, can you make sure get only there you go, can you make sure to grab just you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do apologize. Boscro, uh, Morton can heal you up. Okay, move over there, please. Thirteen. Okay, um at which point we actually need to go ahead and back you with that. Five damage, you're on six to go. Uh fine, keep it that way. You go over you've got you are you're you're done. Go over here real quick. Um heal you. Um from you. Go over here. Up here, please. So can you shoot from here? Yes, you can. Please do so. It means that you you're definitely guaranteed to die to the um, thing over there. Bless. Recharge Cognition. Uh, I'm going 17 and you blocking physical. Annoying, but we'll make two. Eight, eight to ten armor. Nine. Gives you with, what, eight left. Which means if we move over here. Hit you with that. There's between two to four. Seven guaranteed. You die, you die guaranteed. Beautiful. And frankly, you die guaranteed. Good. Letting them have turns is a scrubs game. We're not letting them have turns at all. Situation analysis in progress. Analysis complete. Recommendation follows. Leave. The cohorts auspexes and rat sniffers observe toxic radiation in the chamber, but that is of va little of that is of little that is of that what? The cohorts auspexes and rat sniffers observe to exotic radiation, but. That is of little value. Or little of that is of value. 
However, remaining in this chamber causes the cohort to suffer fleeting hallucinations of a desolate realm choked with corpses beneath a burning black sky. Okay. The cohort becomes aware of gleaming blades, dripping flayed hides, and beady necron eyes in the shadows around them. The flayed ones are stalking them, perhaps to observe, perhaps in preparation for an ambush. Subtlety. Proceed as stealthily as possible and try to lose the stalking flayed ones. Aggression. Charge into the darkness with guns blazing, bringing the undersized vengeance upon these skulking Xenos. Resilience. Find a defensible position. Take a stand. Defy the hateful alienist to attack. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. The cohort tries to move stealthily and unseen, but the flayed ones know this ground far better and outflank them. The pack launches a lightning attack on the cohort, inflicting several injuries before melting back away into the darkness. And yeah, damage is fine. Damage is not extra awakening. Which means, as long as I can kill two things here... Actually, don't even... <laughs> I, as long as I finish on the first turn, it's fine. If I kill anything, we get extra turns. Oh, hello! Necron Lord. Kill all enemies. Okay, this might take a... This might actually take a, a, more than a turn. But... Okay, what have we got here? We have two flight ones here... Two fleet. Oh, this this okay. This this fight's gonna take a while. Um, I'm out here. I might, I might actually only have to do one mission today. Um, day sleeper here. I'm gonna start with the vanguard here as well. The vanguard in now. Um, because it, there's a lot of flayed ones that have to go first, basically. Um. Uh, and then Boscaro there, Starjackal there, Boscaro gets immediate heal, Beric here, I mean, Morthen here. The reason I do a Vanguard there is because a Vanguard can, can kill both of these in a single turn. Um, wish I could speed him up at this point, but... I, what I can do is... Damn it, they blocked the passageway. God damn it. <laughs> Curse me. Ah, I never think, I never think forward these things enough. Um, Castle and Robert turns up over here. Uh, buff it up. Move to here. Uh, cognition freedom. Vanguard turns out I'm not going to do anything this time because it's going to be relevant anyway. Um, hit you the Volkite Pattern Blaster on one of you. Kill the first one? Good. Kill that? Did not. Left it with two damage. At uh, which point we shoot you. At which point we move. Yeah, we shoot. At which point we move up like here. Uh. Melee you. Um, shoot you. By now, Carvis is going to get used, so damage is relevant. I'm not going to get any crazy things happening? No. Okay, good. Move over here. Cognition there. Because Bosco's not going to get any cognition either. Scan that. Cognition you. And you have just enough damage to finish this off. I'm not going to bother using the, the Yog, Yoth's healing, whatever it's called, because it's just not worth it. Done. Done. You're going to move there. Castellan, hi. Right, immediate incendiary combustor. This kills everything around you. Beautiful. Damage to you. Knock those two out. Flame that down. Dead as well. Nice. At which point you walk over here. Slam that down thusly. I'm oh, sorry. Slam it down thusly. Just 
to start slamming them. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Irrelevant. Things move up to attack you. Not a massive problem, really. Ooh, actually, we can get some. We can get a really good flame there, boss. A really good flame. Um, move here, please. Can you get a good flame hitting all of this? Yes, you can. Your freedom flame this entire group. Did that kill everyone? Doesn't kill you. Intriguing. Necron Lord's gonna get a turn as well. That doesn't usually happen, but hey. Obliterate you. Um okay, walk up here. Cognition off your body as well. Oh, you exist. Hang on. You exist. Uh, in which case, let me shoot you real quick. At which point, you can go back there and make sure this thing dies. And just slam it down. Rustling. How? I mean, sure, I guess, but that's not that's unexpected. Well, fine, well, one HP, good. You will do that there, and you will scan the Necron Lord. That cryptic needs to die as well. Okay, done. Um, kind of actually done, really. Yes, pretty much kind of done. Move you out of the way real quick. Right, Morthen, please up here. Necron Lord is there. Okay. Uh, I was gonna shoot another point. Move up here. Grab cognition of you. Stab you with this. Grab point of that. Move back like over here. Bless. <clears throat> um, Cognition um, of Freedom. Do a quick check on stats there. Okay, you ignore. Good means we can blast you thusly. You've got 9 HP left. 4 HP left. 8 damage to kill, so it's... can be done. Hit you thus. Took 1 damage. Mission gauge maxed out, and we'll put the shield up just in case. Necron is going to go reanimation protocol on everything. Reanimation protocol. What did that actually do? Did that speed up their their returns. It may have speed up their returns. Don't know. Anyway, uh, Star Jackal. Can I snipe him from here? This is the last one, right? This is the last one. So, go over here real quick. Um, grab Cognition. If I, can stack, if, I can, if I can grab him from here. Yeah, I can get him from here. Okay, in which case, uh, cancel the Iron Soul. Number one. Uh, cognition. Freedom. Cancel the Iron Soul. Less. Now this is the magic song. Do they stack? Can you do a double canticle your own soul with the same hit? I think they do, so if you try this out before. Yeah, you hit for you hit for the that guaranteed kill the Necron Lord. 
obliterated with the critical as well. Um, move up to here. Uh, I want to shoot you. Good. What's left alive then? That you immortal over there. Um, here, please. Get close as, as close as we possibly can. Quickly scan what we've got. 17. Okay, at which point we're going to go for a uh, binary harvest. We're also going to hit you with the Canticle of the Iron Soul again. Sarjak will getting all the points to this turn. Because with that hit, you should die you should die to the um to the opportunity. With us. Beautiful. Girl downed. Okay, which point only that's left alive, I think, is that cryptic over there. Is there anything that's technically alive right now? Well, the Vanguard was actually the last thing to have a turn. Jesus, it's not—it's not worth it. I, I did it again, like hopefully, like okay, we'll put the them. No. If you summon them with reinforcements, they go almost immediately afterwards. Not necessarily guaranteed immediately afterwards, but they go almost immediately afterwards. In freedom. Let's go the Iron Soul. Solar Atomizer. Done. Yeah, no. It's not worth something at the amount. It's just not worth it. Reinforcements is really strong. The final pack of flayed ones discorporates beneath the cohort's assault. Their readings continue to provide strange and contradictory results. Wherever the flayed ones teleport to, it is not the alternate dimension of the warp, but to somewhere else entirely. Hypothesis disapproval. Flayed one destination equals our reality. False. Immaterium. False. I return baffled with curiosity at these conclusions. The records have no end of strange depths to be plumbed. Addendum personal. Observations. Willingness to unite as Faustinius. One. Clear dedication to knowledge. Two. Willingness to gather intelligence on Xenos. Three. Mere audience to obstructive dogma. Willingness Faustinius equals ally to my kind. Your kind. Linguistic normalization protocols enacted. Ooh. Um. I'm not on this mission by chance. My allies and Shudo were sent here. Beneath Silver Tenebris lies a more than just a legion of Macrons. It's time to bring you into my confidence, Magos Faustinius. I thought that was an appropriate, like. Like, linguistic normalization commences. Like, no, that's, that's an appropriate moment to pull back a little bit the effect there. Hopefully that worked out nicely. That's cool. That's like the first time, like, Skyfall is like, I'm not going to talk like a robot today. See, that definitely felt like it came before the other mission. You seem to be able to do these missions out of order. It seems to be really unfortunate, because... This is, this is I'm assuming, where you find out that Skyfall is a Xenorite. But we've done other things before where they say Skyfall is a Xenorite with, with no like preamble whatsoever. Yeah, the last one, the Verge of Omniscience. And I'm assuming there's missions between this and the other one that... Cause there, there were missions here where they were mentioned that Skyfall was Xenorite. But yeah, yeah. So this is definitely the last mission for you. There's three missions left here. This might be the last... No, it can't be, right? Okay, so next time, I think... You know what? I'll let you know, because it's, it's this is Friday's episode, so... At least one of you is watching and commenting. Um, do I finish off Sky of Ola next? Or do I start clearing out some of the... Uh, 
stuff here from Videx. Anyway, folks, I will catch you next time. Uh, not much more, not much more left. Just one more Sky of Ola mission. We, at least one more we can do. If there's more after that, I don't know. And at least three more Videx missions. Anyway, I'll see you then, folks. Bye-bye.